Inside the Magic, covering Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Universal Studios, and more. making up story, the, the magic, the show that we've created in the space. So we wanted to really make it an experiential retail shopping experience. So here we have, I'm go to the side here, we have enchanted posters. So behind two of our point of sale registers, we have these posters that actually come alive in the store. So every guest will experience something different. So it's, they constantly are changing. And they're all about the, the, what the animators at the time would have worked on. So you'll also see words down here that kind of, they're pretend, but they're fun because they all reference the different movies. Uh, we have animator desks that are inspired by the Kim Weber furniture that the animators used to use. Um, and they also used to draw on their desks. So, like, for example, this is Mark Davis's desk. And so we have sketches from Mark Davis, including some of the sketches he did uh, on some of the attractions in our park. So we have the Haunted Mansion, we have Jungle Cruise, and we also have Pirates, too. So, did you guys see the posters now? Yeah. Uh, we also have cork boards that the animators would have in their offices, so they show images uh, of the actual animators and some of their sketches and some of their little like handwritten notes as well. Okay. These are all pencil tests from the archive. We have about 24 different pencil tests that we rotate through. And so everybody's going to see something different every time they walk by. So a little boy will be walking up and be like, Mom, look, that moved, you know. So it's just like a really fun experience. So, so we kind of, we were choosing artwork that really was um, pre-1989 when the animators would have left the store. Well, actually not the store, I should say. It left the art studio. And then it was turned into a store. But... Um, we, we tried to choose all films, all the classics, so. 